हेलो स्टूडेंट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड फाइन एट होम डू यू रिमेंबर वॉट वर वी डिस्कसिंग यस्टरडे आई थिंक वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एनोमरिक इफेक्ट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय द एनोमरिक इफेक्ट एंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्लूकोज is drawn while explaining the anomeric effect and as we know that the ring structure of the glucose has a two form one is one form is called as alpha form another second one is known as a beta form among these two the simplest glucose which is present in a chair conformation when it is a chair conformation for the ring formation it involves five carbon atom and one oxygen atom forming the six membered ring which is similar to the pyrazone ring and that pyranose and therefore it is referred as alpha d plus uh, a glucopyranose whereas another one is known as beta d glucopyranose these are the two form anomer anomeric effect means what among these two if you study the stability of that conformer uh, by replacing that hydroxyl group with suppose is a simplest hydroxyl group those hydroxyl group uh, generally the bulkier group we uh, prefer to stay at equatorial position and therefore for simplest alpha d glucopyranose uh, glucopyranose or beta d glucopyranose if you compare these two form among which one is more stable beta form is more stable than the alpha form that's the reason why because at a, when it is a hydroxyl group at a anomeric carbon atom do you know that the anomeric carbon atom carbon number 1 is referred as a car, anomeric carbon atom because it is a additional chiral center is generated when the ring formation of the uh, glucose is formed and therefore no when and suppose if if you uh, if you change that hydroxy group by some other methoxy or acetyl group or chlorine group then the alpha form is a more stable than the beta form so that effect is known as a uh, anomeric effect and that anomeric effect vary inversely with the dielectric constant that is another factor electronic factor which also we have uh, uh, explained in our previous lectures so today right now we are going to discuss about the synthesis of glycosides glycosides means what glycoside nothing but as a ring structure of that glucose is termed as a glycosides and after that we will see what type of the glycoside linkage when uh, while studying that disaccharides trisaccharide tetrasaccharide and the polysaccharide during that how they are forming that uh, glycosidic linkage before that we are right now for the monosaccharide because we are uh, as we know that the simplest uh, while studying the classification of the carbohydrate we have seen first one is a monosaccharide and that monosaccharide is nothing but uh, that carbohydrates which containing as a uh, uh, that which containing uh first uh here the ring structure are simplest one carbohydrate we have considered as a glucose d plus glucose why it is referred as a d glucose so now is a ring structure of glucose why there is a necessity why it is uh, uh, necessary 
to study the ring structure because whatever we have learned so far we have consider glucose as a open chain compound it is a polyhydroxy aldehyde or the ketone is known as a carbohydrates or that mono uh, mono uh, saccharide or mono uh, mono saccharide do not get uh, uh, mono saccharide do not uh, get hydrolyze further into as a simplest mono saccharide are the simplest unit of the sugar and it cannot get further hydrolyze but uh, disaccharide disaccharide further hydrolyze uh, we get as a different type of the monosaccharide unit and the monosaccharide unit may be as a same or di uh, different that depending upon the glycosidic linkage after that we will study that one but before that why there is a need of uh, study of ring structure of the glucose because uh, we have studied we have discussed so far all about the all about the structures of the structures of the glu uh, glucose simple structure of the glucose we have studied that according to as a fisher projection formula how it is represented uh, how it is uh, written the way of writing uh, whatever groups are there and we have studied some of the chemical properties but let me tell you here why there is a need of a uh, ring structure of glucose the reason behind it that we are now uh, listen carefully here on the basis of chemical evidence whatever we have learned on the basis of chemical evidence stereo structure of d glucose was represented by the fisher projection formula that is the structure number one so shortly we are going to learn again we are going to see what is the structure number one so uh, glucose however was found to exhibit some more chemical properties some more chemical properties which could not be explained on the basis of structure first and it was necessary to write another structure for glucose which will explain all the properties all the properties ring structure of glucose when ring structure of glucose fulfill these uh, fulfill these criteria fulfill these criteria so that is all about the all about the ring structure of the glucose over here so let's see here so what uh, whatever we have seen so let's begin the ring why there is a need of ring structure of glucose that we are learning on the basis of chemical evidence stereo structure of d glucose was represented by the fisher projection formula first glucose however was found to exhibit uh, some more chemical properties some more chemical properties which could not be explained on the basis of structure first and it was necessary to write another structure for glucose which explain all the properties all the properties ring structure of glucose fulfill this requirement and let's see over here so as we know that the open chain structure of glucose as we know that like this so cho look at here carefully one two three four and the last one which we are generally written as a ch2oh at the top this structure we are writing according to the fisher projection formula now the oh which is lying on a right hand side and left uh, left hand side there is a hydrogen atom 
now at this position hydroxy group on the left hand side and here uh, on the right hand side and this is the correct representation of the glucose the d glucose 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 as we know that the molecular formula of glucose is a c6 h12 o6 so this is the general molecular formula of glucose or fructose same molecular formula but look at here the generally according to as a fisher projection formula we are writing as a structure you can give this is a structure number first let us consider this is a structure number first whatever structures we have learned so this will be the first structure for open chain d glucose compound this is a open chain open chain uh, uh, d glucose it is a structure of glucose right and now and as we know that it exists it an equilibrium position and when equilibrium position what is going to happen the uh, the reaction will takes place in an equilibrium position the formyl group of aldehyde formyl group which uh, having the cho formyl group uh, the reaction between formyl group and the secondary alcohol of c5oh group reaction takes place and we are going to get here the another structure is like this let us see over here one two three four so four we can write one two three four and this will be the five and after that ch2oh as it is and this ring as we know that this is a ring formation will take place means the reaction takes place between formyl group and the c5 hydroxyl group so this way hydrogen atom over here so this now remains this one is the oh this hydrogen atom here we can write ho h here we can write this h and this oh now this at a carbon number one this is one two three four five and six so here hydrogen atom look at here the hydroxy group at a carbon number one which is an anomeric carbon atom the hydroxyl group lying on the left hand side and therefore it is a below therefore that side is known as a beta side and right hand side that is known as alpha side this is termed as a beta side and this is termed as alpha side look at here this is beta side at anomeric carbon the hydroxy group hydroxyl group or the alcoholic group on the left hand side and therefore it is termed as a uh, it is termed as a beta d plus glucopyranose you can say or uh, uh, beta d glucose this is a structure of beta d glucose and now in the same manner we can draw the same structure here so let's see over here one two three four and five the reaction takes place between the formyl group and the five this one and then ch2oh we can write as it is now look at this is a carbon number one two three four five and six right look at this observe this carefully the carbon number are six in your formula over here and the reaction takes place between the carbonyl group and the uh, c5 hydroxyl group and we are getting this type of the compound now here look at at four uh, hydroxy group lying on the right hand side hydrogen here at 3 the hydroxy group which is lying on the left hand side and hydrogen at 2 hydroxy group which is lying on the right hand side 
and hydrogen atom should be on the uh, left hand side at carbon number 1. Now look at here at anomeric carbon atom hydroxy group on the uh, left hand side. Now the hydroxy group should must be on a right hand side because there we are getting two forms alpha and the beta because while designating alpha form or beta form depending upon the hydroxy group present on which side as we know that left hand side they are designated as alpha side and when when you convert this uh, fisher projection formula into Howarth projection formula. Howarth projection formula is a better way of representation of the ring structure. Uh, therefore, we can uh, show that below the plane, those hydroxy group lying on the right hand side and those hydroxyl group present on the left hand side, you must show that above the plane means that uh, above the plane means beta side. Here the name of this compound is alpha D plus glucose. This is the structure, the structure we have written according to the here the according to Fisher projection formula. This uh, the structure number this we can call it this is a structure number 6 and this you can call it as this is a structure number 7 two structure extra structure we got that is a ring formation of d glucose one we call it as a 6 and one we call it as a 7 these are the two structure we got here right now so let us see the these are the uh, ring structure of glucose according to as a Fisher projection formula. Now, glucose is found to have two cyclic structure, structure number 6. These are the cyclic structure of D-glucose, structure number 6 and structure number 7, which are in equilibrium with each other through the open chain structure first this is a open chain structure first uh, first in in aqueous solution the ring structure glucose is formed by reaction between the formal cho group and the alcoholic oh group at c5 and thus ring is a hemiacetal structure this ring becomes as a hemiacetal what do you mean by the hemiacetal look at here hydroxy group and the ester group type of the uh, ether linkage is there that type of the ring is known as a hemiacetal the ring structure glucose is formed by reaction between the formal cho group and the alcoholic OH group at C5. Thus, ring is hemiacetal structure. These ring, structure number 6 and structure number 7 are the hemiacetal structure. The two hemiacetal structures 6 and 7 differ only in the configuration of C1. Look at here this configuration and at this configuration and generally when we uh, ob when we are observing the structure on the basis of fisher projection formula remember the hydroxy group when it is present on the right hand side it has the r configuration now look at here in alpha position the hydroxy group on the right hand side and therefore at anomeric carbon atom it has absolute configuration is r when hydroxy group is on the left hand side and if you determine if you find out you will find that the absolute configuration at anomeric carbon atom must be yes in this case so remember so here is a r here is a yes 
and they differ in a configuration at carbon number one that carbon number one is called as a anomeric carbon the additional uh, <coughs> differ only in the configuration of c1 the additional chiral center resulting from ring closure because as we know that open chain if you observe the structure number first if you count the number of chiral center present in the uh, glucose you will find there are four chiral center present in the d glucose of open chain compound but if you see the ring formation one extra additional chiral center is generated and that at that carbon atom the absolute configuration is different one has r configuration another has a s configuration so so that type of the uh, yeah, optical isomers are known as anomers of each other means alpha form of d glucose and the beta form of d glucose are anomers of each other remember this term over the uh, term here the two ring structures are called alpha and beta anomers of glucose and c1 is called c1 is called the anomeric carbon the ring of the cyclic structure of glucose contains five carbons and one oxygen thus it is a six membered ring and it is called pyranose structure in analogy with the six membered heterocyclic compound pyran as we know that the structure of pyran will be this one this is uh, the analogy of this and therefore it is known as a pyran and hence glucose is also called as called glucopyranose haworth formula is a better way than fisher projection formula to represent structure of glucopyranose and that we will see shortly and in the howard formula the pyranose ring is considered to be a, a perpendicular plane with respect to the plane of paper the carbons and oxygen in the ring are in the places as they appear in figure the lower side of the ring is called alpha side and the upper side is the beta side the alpha anomer has its anomeric oh group at c1 on the alpha side whereas the beta anomer has its anomeric hydroxyl oh group at c1 on the beta side the groups which appear on right side in the fisher projection formula and vice versa now let us see here those structures how to represent these fisher projection formula into howarth projection formula why there is a need of howarth projection formula because howarth projection formula is a better way for representation of ring structure of glucose than the fisher projection formula and let's see how we can draw as we know that the here the pyran ring as we know that this is a one of the heterocyclic compound this is a pyran pyran is a ring and which six membered ring also this is analog of that glucose and therefore we can draw the howarth fisher projection formula of glucopyranose here hydro this is anomeric carbon number 1 where the hydroxy group is below the plane and this is termed as a 
alpha and here had carbon with this carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 and here generally we are writing CH2 OH at carbon number uh, 2 you see the hydroxy group on the right hand side and therefore it is above the plane and at 3 it is below the plane at 4 it is above the plane so that is a representation of Haworth uh, projection formula here this is a beta side therefore it is termed as alpha d glucopyranose this is alpha d plus glucopyranose glucopyranose this is a structure of this is according to a Haworth projection formula it is a very simple to draw six member ring is involved here now let's see over here again is a six member ring and there we can draw like this but at this is an anomeric carbon atom where the hydroxy group present at a beta side now rest of the thing remains as it is OH this carbon number one two three four five and here CH2 and hydroxy group we are writing like this and rest of the thing that carbon number one the hydroxy group lies below the plane here at carbon number four then again hydroxy group which is lying below the plane now something is uh, something we are here let us clear this structure alpha at carbon number two hydroxy group are above the plane at carbon number two that is uh, which is present on right side but here the at carbon number three the hydroxyl group are on the right hand side let us see let us clear this point once again so let me draw first the correct structure here we have got confused over here so here generally let us see over here this is the structure and beta no doubt about it one hydroxy group must be below the plane and when we are writing when we are writing here the structure of that d glucose in a according to as a fisher projection formula we will see here uh, this one the hydroxy group which is present lying on the right hand that that goes above that goes below the plane over here here that goes below the plane and those are having lying on the right hand side that goes above the plane this will be below the plane and then this ch2 and oh so one two three four five and six there are the six carbon atoms over there and they are represented like this now here we can draw this hydroxy group above the plane now rest of the thing you can write over here OH then OH this hydroxy should be below the plane then CH2 and hydrogen atom this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 there are 6 carbon atom here also as a 6 carbon atom and they are represented like this and this is a structure of alpha D plus glucopyranose whereas this one is known as a beta d plus glucopyranose glucopyranose this is the structure of this beta d glucopyranose now this figure indicate that this figure represent the Haworth formula of anomers of glucopyranose Haworth formula Haworth formula Howard formula of glucopyranose, uh, Howard formula of anomers of anomers of glucopyranose, glucopyranose. This is a structure of uh, Howard formula of glucopyranose.
pyranos that is a beta d plus gluco pyranos now anomers what do you mean by the anomers the definition remember once again anomer are cyclic monosaccharide or glycosides that are epimers differing from each other in the configuration of c1 if they are aldo hexo aldoses so that is the uh, thing regarding that ring structure of the glucose once again why we have written this one remember here the cyclic form just now we have seen uh, we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 and later one ch2oh and here this ring is formed so here hydrogen atom here oh is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh, remember here at 5 and 6 they are on here ho h then oh h here this one is a uh, hydrogen on a uh, lying on a left hand side therefore it is represented as they those are lying on the left hand side that goes above the plane right right that is it now the those are present on the left hand side that that is a this is a beta side and this will be the alpha side right this is alpha side alpha side means below the plane beta side left hand side that is a above the plane now here but here remember here oh on a right hand side in alpha side means they goes below the plane below the plane look at here hydroxy group below the plane at anomeric this uh, carbon number 1 is a additional uh, chiral center is generated and therefore at carbon number 1 if you observe this carefully this is alpha side means below the plane remember and this uh, beta side means above the plane that you have to write and when we are converting this is a uh, fisher projection formula into the haworth projection this is a haworth projection right haworth projection formula now while converting you consider that six membered ring is a perpendicular to the plane this is a perpendicular to plane and therefore this hydroxy group at one position which is present on the right hand side that goes below the plane means this is alpha side and now if you look at here at two position hydroxy again below the plane at three which is uh, left hand side means it should be above the plane at carbon number four the hydroxy group lying on the right hand side that again goes into below the plane and that ch2oh that you have to write in this way above the plane so this is uh, what we can call it as a simplest representation how will you convert fisher projection formula into the haworth projection formula there are the certain rules are there so the six membered ring in uh, according to as a haworth projection formula which is perpendicular to the plane of the paper and those group hydroxy group lying on the right hand side that you have to show below the plane and those are lying on the left hand side those hydroxy group you must show above the plane and according to that we are writing let us see here again 1 2 3 4 5 and this ch2oh here generally uh, sorry here generally ring is formed between formyl group and the uh hydroxy group of carbon number 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 now look at here hydroxy group over here h now here hydroxy group here h then oh here h now in this case hydroxy group are below the uh, that hydroxy group lying on the 
left hand side and that hydrogen atom here because look at here this is anomeric form beta form it is this is a beta this is a beta side this will be the alpha side alpha side whatever hydroxys are there that you must show above the plane and beta side uh, uh, alpha side those goes below the plane and beta side those go above the plane that you have to remember don't make us a confusion over here most of the student get confused over here now look at here at anomeric carbon atom the hydroxy group which is lying above the plane that is shown here this is a beta side at carbon number two which is lying hydroxy group which is lying on the right hand side and that's why it is below the plane and now at carbon number three lying on the left hand side that is above the plane and again four below the plane and this group is above the plane so that are the clear cut representation of the alpha d plus glucopyranose and the beta d plus glucopyranose in this way we have seen how the glycosidic uh, synthesis of glycosidase is carried out at an equilibrium because open chain compound and the ring structure compound they are present in a aqueous solution means one is interconverted into as another one and therefore the glucose open chain compound can show some of the property in addition to that the uh, other chemical properties are shown by the ring structure and therefore why they shows as the ring structure as well as open chain uh, structure chemical reaction because they are existing uh, at an equilibrium and therefore they exhibit they shows the chemical property uh, similar to open chain compound aldehyde as well as hemiacetal compound when the ring structure that uh, goes into as a open chain and that's why they are showing that type of the properties so in the next lecture we will learn about the reducing nature of the glucose i think with this let us stop today here remaining we will see in the next lecture thank you have a nice day